Hi everyone and welcome to a new episode with me Danny. Today we will talk about the concept of folders inside of Google Tag Manager. It might seem something simple and to be honest it is simple but a lot of people do actually ignore it and for the longest uh, time I have not used folders until recently and when I discovered it I was like man that everybody needs to use folders because well, let's find out why you need to do so. First of all, um, let's start with the basics. What are folders? Hmm. Well, folders are simply groups of triggers, variables, and uh, tags that you can group together in certain categories. It's almost like folders inside of your uh, Windows operating system or Mac. and. Um, uh, when do you need to use folders? Well, again, like I mentioned before with the other concept, effective immediately. Folders are essential if you want to. Well, that goes to question number three. Why do we need to use folders? Well, folders are especially important to be organized. I have used um, tons of tags and I have a list of nearly 25 in one of my accounts. And though I was naming things properly, it could get overwhelming because you have the combination of tags, triggers, and variables that could literally belong to a certain functionality that you're trying to achieve. So why don't you group them into a special folder and name the folder with whatever functionality that you are trying to introduce into your tags? And finally, how do we go about using folders? Let's get started immediately going into uh, my account here with Google Tag Manager. As you can see here on the left hand side at the very bottom, we have folders. Let me click here. If you go down here and look at the list, I have tons of triggers, tags and variables, but they are all unfiled items. That means that they are not categorized or they are not grouped together. And this is what we're going to do today. Let me show you how grouping them into folders could be a blessing. Let me create my first folder and call it e-commerce. If I scroll down, I see my e-commerce folder right here. I'm going to create another one and call this download tracking. How about remarketing? This is a big topic because remarketing uh, as part of advertisement could be uh, a bunch of things that you can do, not only on Google AdWords, but even on Bing or Facebook. And remarketing in itself is a major functionality that ought to be grouped under one folder, in my opinion. What else? Looking at here, I do have as well something for, uh, let's say, document downloads. And another functionality, I'm calling it extra visitor analysis. All right, now that I have all my folders created, uh, next time I want to create a certain tag, I can actually click here on the right hand side and say add new tag or add new trigger or variable. I can even rename the folder or delete it altogether. So all these functionalities are there for me to attach new triggers and tags to each folder. But if I've already done so, if I've already created all these triggers, I can actually move them around, which is a very good uh, option that I have right now. So let me start with choosing the visitor, extra visitor information that I have used in the past. It's a bunch of variables and also triggers. And let me find out where the tag is. Uh, let's see. There it is this one, custom visitor dimensions. So really all these should be grouped together. Once I select them, I can click here. 
I can once I select them I can actually click here on the move and select the folder that they need to go into and automatically all of these triggers tags and variables gets moved into that particular folder let me go about doing the same with my downloads so I have a bunch of download tracking all of them are tags and I believe I have the PDF, the Word, and the MP3 triggers as well that need to go into that particular folder. So I'm saying download tracking. Okay, we're getting more organized as we should be and we are able to see what is left. I have my AdWords remarketing. I'm moving it to the remarketing folder. So again, this is to uh, basically expand and contract the particular folder. I have here the functionality associated with this particular uh, with this particular folder, and these are the list of folders where I can move things around. Maybe let me see if I go to variables, go back to folders. There you go. So I think it was just a bug on um, on Google Tag Manager. So now I have the new folder again. I'm creating one specifically for uh, website tracking. So now where do I go? I go back into uh, the overview, which allows me to see all of my tags and the rest of them and now as you can see they are grouped under their respective folder so I can go about looking for the ones that I've missed by going into the unfiltered so what I can do is simply go back into folders expand the unfiltered select the uh, internal clicks tag and the page view tags and also the trigger these three need to go inside of website tracking and there it is I'm left off with two variables uh, these are specific for conversion ID and also the uh, Google Analytic tracking ID so I can keep it there as long as I don't have a bunch of them and I think by starting to do that, you'll be more organized and you will run into less issues in the future. I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, please like it and also subscribe to this channel. We will always have videos, new videos about Google Tag Manager and web development videos. Until a new episode with me, Danny, take care.